welcome to DIYs My Happy Place. I'm Amy and we're getting ready to get started. Here's Tim. <laughs> we are doing our live without a back office today, so bear with us. I'm hoping that we're going to be able to make this work. So as you pop on here, the first thing is please... Tell I love us, those YouTube ads. <laughs> tell us where you're from. And we have we have a lot of fun things planned. We are going to be making a fisherman gnome. My brother is a big time fly fisherman. So Jeremy, this is for you. And so we're, I'm going to be teaching how to make the standing gnome. And on this particular one, I actually put him on a base because... Um, he was a little bit tippy, but I've, I've created a tutorial to show how to make these shoes and it will go live on Monday and it will show how you can make the shoes so they're, it's not tippy at all. It'll completely stand on its own. So, um, okay, so let me tell you a little something fun that we're going to be doing today. I don't know where to put that exactly. Maybe right there. Well, if it's yeah. right in the center, then as we're working on things, you don't need to have the shoes in the way. That's going to be your spot. <laughs> okay, so as we're working on things, we are going to have a fun uh, little game, sort of, while, we, while we're doing our live. And that is, I have a whole bunch of fisherman quotes here. And this is the challenge that I have for you. I'm going to just periodically read off a quote, and some of them are pretty funny. And I want you to replace the fisherman part and see if you can make some sort of a funny gnome quote to go in place of the fisherman quote because everything gnome right yeah so let me give you an example hold on before you do can oh, I oh, do yeah. some shout outs so oh yes hello to kathy Gigi, and sarah welcome hello thanks for joining us welcome all right kathy Gigi, and sarah and oh and bonnie 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 just joined us all right welcome welcome Okay, so for the first ones that popped on here, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and start off right off with a challenge. Hi from Southern, Southern Illinois. Illinois. Oh, Love hi, it. Doug. Hello. Yes, keep on keep on interrupting because I, I always just talk okay. and talk. But I want to hear from you too. So um, this is this is one of the things that I got. And it hi, says Casey. Sorry. You told me to just do it. Do in. it. Do it. <laughs> okay. Really, the only thing a psychiatrist can do that a fishing guide, I, I wonder if I did this right, that a fishing guide can't is write prescriptions. I think really, I did the that only one. thing a psychiatrist can do that a fishing guide can't. In other words, like if you go fishing, then you don't uh, need therapy because it's so fun. And I feel like that's what the gnomes, gnomes can be your therapies. They're so fun. But I, I think I might have typed that wrong. But anyway, you get what I'm saying? So we're going to try it like you can say, really, the only thing a gnome maker or crafter can do that a, no, I said that wrong, a psychiatrist. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe oh, we should just get thing. into the gnomes. Should we get into the gnomes? <laughs> <sighs> the only thing that a psychiatrist can do that a crafter can't is write a prescription. There you go. And then I got to put quotes behind it. Amy Hackleman. There, there you go. go. Now, does it seem like we got we got really really bright and then all of a sudden we're not yeah, bright? Yeah, it was weird, but mm. I backed up. So. Oh, is that what it is? Darkened. See, we're still learning. <laughs> okay, who else do we have here? Let's see. Hi from Michigan. Hello from Florida. Hey, Florida. Did it warm up? I heard that it was cold a couple of weeks ago, and then I heard it warmed up. But oh, <laughs> Florida, so nice. I think I had. Three and JL friends from, last week at, at Disney. JL Murphy from Southeast Georgia. So all right. Hopefully that's our Savannah, close by Savannah friend. Yeah, we oh we need to go back. I, I think I mentioned this before for if anybody's been here. Two of our kids were born in Georgia. So we we love Savannah. Yeah. Tim went to graduate school there at Savannah College of Art and Design. So we always have to do shout out for Georgia. Okay, we're going to get started and then we'll keep on, keep on like doing our little thing. Okay, so to get started, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get our, I tried to get really organized this time. 
So how about that? So we oh, are going to use. No, no, we we do want to shout out to Michigan. You're not did, chopped liver with us. Did, did we say that? <laughs> did, oh, no, Michigan. I think we just didn't. We didn't say anything yeah. about Michigan. Go Michigan. We just went to Michigan. When did we go to Michigan? A couple of years ago. Yeah. Well, it was before COVID. We love Michigan. That is so beautiful. Oh, and Kentucky. Another one of my favorite states. Kentucky. We've been all over. Yes, we love Kentucky. Oh, 83 degrees in Savannah. Man. Oh. I think we hit um, 13 degrees here today. Yeah, it so. was cold. In Omaha, the weather is kind of bipolar. Like one day it's really warm. Not really warm. One day it's pretty warm. And then some days it's freezing during the winter. So, yeah. Okay, what else do we have here? Sarah's I'm just lady. teasing. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Mary's our Michigan girl. So high from 30 degrees to high is 80. In Florida. Oh, that's Florida. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I love it. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're gonna do <clears throat> now, if you're doing a standing gnome, or if you're doing the kind that's just gonna sit down, I should have had an example of it. Oh, there's one over I have there. so many gnomes. I have all my gnomes on that side of the room. So let's see if I can see one. I can't. Um, anyway, you use different socks. And I, I pick up my socks from the Dollar Tree because I try to use as many supplies from the Dollar Tree as possible, which our Dollar Tree did go up to a dollar and a quarter. What is the price of the Dollar Tree where you live? Because I've heard that some places are different prices than others. So, yeah, let me know. Do you have a Dollar Tree in your area? And if so, what prices are they now? But still a dollar and a quarter is better than most places. So if you're doing the kind that's going to have, you know, rice or rocks or sand or something in it, you want it to be a heavy duty sweat sock. But if, you, if you're if you going to have it be a standing gnome, the idea is to try to get everything as light as possible and it won't tip over as much. You want to have your shoes and your feet and even this part of your legs heavy. And I'm going to show you how to make that happen in um on monday but then everything up it can look bulky it can look anything but it needs to be lightweight so we're going to use our lightweight socks to get started with our and the reason why i like to start depending on what type of gnome sometimes they start from the top and sometimes they start from the bottom in this case i pre-made the shoes and we're, we're doing some waders so the waders are made with Tim's one that gave me the idea. He's like, you know, you could almost use like a black glove to have the slick waiter look. So I played with this and toyed with this. Here's one thing by the time I do a tutorial, I've usually put I don't know how many hours at least I do a lot of pre figuring things out before I actually put it on because what I try to do is find a way that works. See, the light went weird again. What'd you do, Tim? I don't know. I don't know either. Um, uh, anyway, I, I try to that. figure out what looks good and then also something that doesn't take so long to make. Because I feel like if it's going to take a long, long time to make, then that's not the best step, um, way either. And it took me a while to figure this out. I actually was trying to make some ballet. I was going to do like a ballerina on points. And I'm still working on that. But Were you on Dollar Tree just today? Yes. And it was a dollar? It was a dollar and a quarter. Oh, it's a dollar and a quarter. Okay, dollar that's what quarter. everybody says. It's dollar and a quarter? Is, okay. Is, they're all going up. Dollar and a quarter. Dollar. I think somewhere I heard that Canada's <clears throat> is a dollar fifty. Is anybody from Canada? I don't know if that's true. But yeah, dollar and a quarter. Okay, so we have, oh, Christy from Blackfoot. Yours is still a dollar, not a dollar and a quarter. Lucky. Yeah, I've been in the Dollar move Tree. This guy. Yeah, move that guy out of the way. I've been in the Dollar Tree in Blackfoot. Welcome from Blackfoot. So yeah, most people are saying a dollar and a quarter. Yeah. Okay, we got to get things started. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, get some scissors. And so we have different scissors here. And some of them are for paper and some of them for fabric. So these are the fabric ones. And so I like the men's athletic sock because it's a big, nice, great big sock. And it has kind of this ribbing down the center because I think there's a couple of different socks at the Dollar Tree. But this is the one I like to use for a standing gnome and it's really lightweight. Well, and it gives that reinforcement in the middle, right? Gives reinforcement. And this usually ends up being about the waist. And so it kind of makes it look, you know, we're going to put clothes on it. So this isn't going to be the only thing. Oh, 
I got to keep watching. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut right above that ribbing because we don't want this to be too, too tall. So we're going to go right about there. Cut that part off. Any yeah, that's why I gave you the scissors that I gave you. Can you give me the smallest ones? In the box? Those are sharp, though. I know, but I <laughs> feel like I'm in kindergarten. <laughs> Here, trade me. <laughs> trade me. It's all right. I got it. I got okay, it. Okay, okay. I got it. <laughs> you are in kindergarten. Okay. All right. Welcome. If you're just joining us, I'm so happy you're here. And the question of the hour is, what is the price of Dollar Tree in your area? <laughs> and where are you from? So, so those are two things. Okay, now oh, we're going to also cut okay. the elastic band. We did, we kind of did this with our first live, but things are going to change a little bit. But yeah, get the elastic band off the top and we'll save that. Now, I've, I've talked about this before. Hey, Tom, yeah. Where did I put Mary. my my dollar store <laughs> they have to sit in the corner i know what's the question she, mary said you may have to sit me in the corner because i feel like i'm in kindergarten oh uh, yeah right and she does that frequently yes that's okay good. okay so this is the key to making standing notes and the dollar tree doesn't always have them and whenever i see them and i went in there today and they had them so i think their stocks got backed up i don't know where they make these I'm guessing they're made in China. But anyway, they got backlogged and I couldn't find them for a while. And it was really stressful for me. So I, you can order them online at Amazon. But the problem is you have to order them more than four to a package. You have to order kind of bulk. And then some of them don't have the little connectors. And this is the key. The key to being able to make these standing gnomes are the little connectors. And I got some out so that it would be nice and fast and easy. And it's these little tiny connectors that make it so that you can take a gnome that's a standing gnome and put the little connector in and attach it to a shoe. And then that's, that will be able to stand on its own. So those are the key parts to making this work. But if you can't get those, we will put a link eventually in the description of the Amazon version of these that has those connectors. So you definitely don't want to, I feel so bad because I didn't specify in previous videos and some people ordered them on Amazon and they didn't have those connectors because they weren't the right ones. So yeah, but if you get them, okay. So there's two different types of the Dollar Tree. There's the four, um, the ones that have four uh, balloon yard sticks in it and the ones that have like 12 and those are way thinner. You can't see it. And we're going to use some of those too, but that's not for the standing part. Okay, we got to get going. Sometimes I just get off track. Okay, who do we have here? We're caught up. Okay, good, good. All right, so we are going to um, have this is where we're going to put our, our stuffing. But first, we're going to make legs. Now, because this particular gnome has, you maybe bring it back over here so I can show. This part, I'm doing this one different than I have done other gnomes. And here's the reasoning. I wanted to have a boot that comes up. And then I also want the leg to look like it's got rubber in it. That just helps separate That it does help it. Um, so we're going to build this part of the leg first. And then we'll glue that up into the gnome. And then we will attach the boot. So now that I'm looking at this, I'm kind of wishing I would have had not cut that quite so short. Oh, the sock? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because we might want it a little taller. That's all right. It's okay. We're going to make them short and fat, right? Perfect. Okay, good. All right. So we want to make our legs. So <laughs> let's start with our legs. So the way to make the legs so that the thigh, th this one I made with, see that light? Did that again. I made this with a uh, glove. The gray part is a rubber glove that I got in the yard garden area of Dollar Tree. But the problem is it's not stretchable at all. So it was really, really skinny. And so that's part of why it's so skinny and it's hard to balance it because it's tall and skinny. And gnomes are better if they're shorter and wider 
than mm. tall and skinny, even though it looks cute. So I changed. They're probably more stable that way, too. They're more stable. So what we're going to do, instead of using the glove that's hard to do, we're going to use balloons. And, yes, I got these from the Dollar Tree. So you need to pick two balloons, and this is going to be the color of what you want the pants to be. Hey, hey, are you listening to me? <laughs> so, this is our marriage. Okay. <laughs> what color do you want your pants to be, your waders? Um, hmm? mm. So pick two balloons. Okay. There we go. You don't have to be thinking, overthink it. <laughs> Well, yeah, but <laughs> okay, that's sorry. Kind of who I am. Okay, so. let's see. We've got, I've been I'm in trouble green. for using the wrong scissors plenty of times. Tim, don't feel too bad. <laughs> yeah, that is so true. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's funny. Okay, let's see. See what's it. The... <laughs> You're going to get me going already. Don't forget. Let's see. You <clears throat> two are so cute. <laughs> Okay. All right. I'm going to do, Thanks, I think I'm going to do yellow. Yellow. What color did you do? Green? I did okay. green. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to take one of our balloon straws. The thick ones? Thick ones. And for now, we'll just cut it in half. We can decide how tall it's going to be later, but don't use your fabric scissors. Oh. <laughs> I have lots of scissors here. So use a different scissor. <laughs> but, um, so just cut it in half. The plastic scissors. The plastic scissors. <laughs> okay. We're cutting that in half. Only mine didn't go exactly in half, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Did you get it? Oh, so close. If you're just getting here, hello, welcome. We're so glad to see you. Oh. And... Does anybody have any good ways to, I'm going to give you another fishing quote for our fly fishermen, and I want you to put in the comments, it's all right, <laughs> put in the comments a way that we can change the words so it has to do with crafting or gnome making instead of fishing. <laughs> okay, this is really funny. I think this would be a cute little uh, tag to put with our fishermen. And I think I will before I send this to my brother, Jeremy. And, um, but this one says, if the keys are missing, I've gone fishing. Don't you see that? Yeah. That's good. Okay. So what can we do to Don't make it me. something similar to that, but with gnomes? What do you think? I don't know. Um, think about that and put it in the comments for me. And all right, let's go on to the next thing. Okay. Now. Oh, if the keys are missing, I'm, I'm not gnome. Oh, that's good. If the keys are missing, no one's gnome. I'm not gnome. I'm not gnome. No one's gnome. Okay. I'm not gnome. I like it. Sorry, okay. That was a horrible dad joke. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Now we're going to take some of these paper towels. Okay. Here you go. I've got some for you. We'll use. And you have extras. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Grab yours. And we're going to fold it in half. And basically what we're doing is we're going to give some leg we get, this is just too skinny for a leg. So we want to put this on here and then just fold it, whoops, fold, fold it in, in half. half. And then we're going to start rolling it on. Just pick a leg, any leg. Pick a leg, any leg, and start rolling this up. And again, ours is going to be shorter. That might be too short, though. Maybe, maybe don't fold it in half. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, let's go this. Let's go this long. Okay. You know I'm at. Let's see. You know. Can you if see the it? keys are missing, I I know nothing. I know That's nothing. <laughs> I like that. You know I'm out fishing. That was a good one, Kristen. Welcome. <laughs> You know I'm out fishing. And if the keys are missing, I'm not making gnomes. <laughs> I love it. If the keys are missing, I gnome fishing. <laughs> that That's is right. perfect. Yeah, but I'm going to make some. Okay, so we're just going to. All the way around. Don't... All the way around. Okay. And just start rolling it, rolling it, rolling it. Because we want this to get big and wide. Like oh, so 
use more than just one. Yeah, just keep on going around. How wide are we shooting for? I don't know. Just so that you're going to make two of them, so they just need to match. So mine's going to be a little wide this time. I'm definitely not going to do black today because that makes it so hard with this background. And then I have some elastic bands. I got to... Or you can take a pipe cleaner to hold it in place until you glue it. So what I'm going to do is just glue the top. But here's what you don't want to do. You don't want to glue into the hole. Oh, okay. Because right, that part's going to be hard. And this is the bottom part. So you want to glue the, this and then just let that start. Um, okay. Cooling. So to speak, I got my own glue gun. You got your own glue gun. Oops. She's very trusting. <laughs> okay. And then while we let that glue, I'm just going to put it right here on the glue stick and then do another one. Where did I put my other glue stick? Uh oh, I need some more of those brown. Okay. <laughs> you have them all. Okay, let's see. Um, <clears throat> if the keys are missing, I'm not missing. Okay. Troy. Hi, Troy. You should do a cowboy gnome for a cool oh, Idaho one. dude. Maybe that will make you one of my favorites. You know what? I'm going to grab something real quick. Hold on. Hold on. I've been thinking about you, Troy. Troy's my brother-in-law, <laughs> and I made a cowboy hat. See, it's dark in here, and some cowboy boots. So I'm already thinking it through. That's going to be something coming in the future eventually. So yes, cowboy gnome, it's coming. Let's put that over there. I have. <laughs> okay, all right. We're gonna do some more of these. Did you just like throw it over? Well, there? there's a box right oh. there, but it just landed on the. Okay. Anyway. We need to do two. Do, do the other, other one, right? Yeah. Two of these. <clears throat> okay, if Tim has scissors, nobody is safe. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's very true. Very true. I resemble that remark. Let's see, for taxes. Minus taxes. Tim taxes. had the best one so far. Yes. Okay. If these aren't. Wait, the keys are the keys are if the keys are missing, I'm not gnome. I'm not gnome. Okay. Something like that. I've got another one for you. <clears throat> sorry, sorry, I missed your call. I was on the other line. You get it like fishing line? Hmm. How can we turn that into a gnome quote? Sorry, I missed your call. I was, I was on the other line. I was in my other gnome. You ought to do a, what does that say? Tim, can you see it? Which you one? You ought to do a. You ought to do a Q&A live stream and just do a tutorial, and just do a tutorial video. That's true. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yes. That would be fun and entertaining. <laughs> but I would love to know your questions right now. That's a good idea. We definitely will do that. But do you have any questions for us right now? We'd love to answer well, any questions. She'd have all the answers. I'm still learning. <laughs> well, I mean, it could be like, it doesn't have to be about gnomes. It could be oh, about Oh, but anything. they got to be the same size, right? Yeah, oh, ish. Okay. Give or take. You know. There we go. <clears throat> okay. Now, I'm going to show you what we use. Sorry, I missed. Live just got off work. We'll review once you post. We're live now. We're live now. <laughs> so good to have you here. Okay, so my stuffing, I use something real fancy, and that's called an old pillow. Why not recycle an old pillow? So you get the batting out of the thing, and this is what we're going to fill our tops with. There's some for you. And you definitely want to pull it apart so that it's not like bunched up. Is that starting to dry? You need Ooh. to fluff it is what you're saying? Fluff it. Give it a little fluff. And then we're going to push that into our sock. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Yeah, let me know if you have any questions for us. 
We're going to try and make these a little fatter than we did the other one. Now, sometimes I make gnomes so the top part goes up, and sometimes it's like this. So if it's standing, then I do it so that you can put the legs up in it. That makes do, sense. do I still need these? Um, also, no, we, okay. we won't need them for a minute. Fluff, how much? Fluff, fluff, and then put in your gnome, and we want to... Oh, put it in the sock? Put it in the sock, and, and see, it's already a gnome to me, and make it nice and chunky. We want a little bit more chunk to him. Mine's going to be a heart. To yours is him. All right. All right, let's see. Okay, here's my next question, or my next fishing quote. Um... <laughs> What? Sorry I missed your call, but nobody cares. But nobody cares. <laughs> good one. I love that. Oh, that's good. Dollar okay, dollar stores in Canada go up to four dollars now. <gasps> wow. And and it's Dollar Tree? Is it a different store or is it Dollar Tree? That is amazing. Four dollars. Wait, how much do I need to put in here? Um like enough. do I need more? No, I think you're okay. Okay. Maybe a little bit more. I don't know. It's and then you want it to be kind of like a potato when you're done. Well, an Idaho potato. That's nice uh, and big, huh? Do you have more? Well, I just need a little piece. Glad you should ask. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Sorry. You told me you weren't going to hit me with a pillow on live stream. So. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Let's see if these are getting dry. Okay, they're getting dry. Okay, once the top part is dry, then you glue the bottom part. And you want to put glue so that it'll, like, attach to your stick. Whoa, wait a minute. Back up. <laughs> I'm going to okay. do another one. So you're doing the other side is what line. you're saying. And you can just lean it up in here. You're just doing the other end. The other side. Okay. And we don't want it to drip down, so don't overdo it like I did. If you do, you have to get the little spatula in because that will show what up through the... What about the corners that fall out? Well, you don't have to worry about that. The balloon will hold it in. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to put that right there. Oh! So it can sit there and dry. My next one. So if you're just joining us, welcome! We're so happy you're here. We're making our fly fisherman gnomes. Fly fisherwoman gnomes. <laughs> Men and women. And we are just wondering if you have any questions for us. What would you like to know? Um, is it okay if I get glue on the stick? Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, get it on the stick because oh, that will make do? it so it won't slide. You want okay. to just kind of give it a little bit on the stick. I, I need to go back and do that then. Okay, yeah. Just on the top part or on that part, yeah, not on the, the other side. Right. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Um, I think they're a dollar store plus, like a five and under, not the items cost, not each item cost four dollars. Okay, so we have, we have stores that are called Dollar General, and what is the other one? Um, family Dollar. Family Dollar, and those are, they could be any price, they're not just a dollar. So the ones that are a dollar are the Dollar Tree, but are now a dollar and a quarter. I don't know, there, there used to be one that was called a... And we have Five and Below, which is... Five and Below, which isn't actually Five and Below anymore. It's gone up. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's gone up too. But there used to be like a 99 cent store too, <clears> but I haven't seen those around for a while either. Have you? No. I was just trying to think about that. Huh. Okay. okay, now what? All right, now we're going to start poking a hole in here because eventually we have to be able to, so use this, and this is what I like is these sharp edged side, and get yourself two holes, and these aren't the straws that we're actually going to use for it, but we may as well start getting them ready because we're going to put that, um, the legs, once those dry, are going to go up in. And this is the thing you have to make sure you do. When you're putting your stick up in, it needs to go all the way to the top of, of your sock, to the tip of the toe. Because if it's only halfway through, you can't see that. If it's only halfway through, then once your gnome is done, it'll oh, start to bend over. Oh, and it won't stand up straight. So we're going to make it go all the way up. So that's all we're doing is we're just preparing a hole. We're digging the hole, so to speak. 
Does that make sense? Okay, Sarah says, my daughter just thought of a saying, nobody wants to be by themselves on Valentine's that Day. That's true. Oh, that is so sweet. I love that. Wait, we missed something. We need a moderator. Yes. Is that what that says? Nightbot is a moderator. Yeah. What Nightbot. is Nightbot? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's just an automated um, motivator to get people to chat. Yeah, because we don't have a back office, so to speak. <clears throat> so we are using a program. This like, oh, do it. What? So when I pull this out, then, is my hole going to collapse? Sort of, but it, it's okay. Because it really feels like some sort of medical exam. <laughs> I'm just Stop saying it. it's... Oh, mercy. We're never going to get done, are we? Okay, so Christy says, that is so cute, Sarah. I love it. Okay, let me give you another one. All right. Um, to fish or not to fish? What a stupid question. To gnome or not to gnome? In other words... That'll work. Yeah. Yeah. That's an easy one. Or, yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. A bad day of fishing beats a good day at work. Hey, easy peasy. Thanks for loving our channel. Or <laughs> her channel. A bad day of gnoming beats a good... No. Yeah. Okay. A, bad, a good day at work. <laughs> okay. What do, uh, okay. Okay. Are we ready to move on? We can say... So. Okay. 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 Let's see if this is dry. It's oh. pretty dry. Is it? No. I'm just wondering... Should you, if you have the sharp ends, the angled end sticks, do you want those always? On yeah, because top? the bottom part, if the, you can just cut them off. If okay, not, because mine, see, both of mine are not exactly. That way. See, mine aren't the same height, and that's okay because I'll trim those up or I'll fix it later. Okay, so what we're going to do now <clears throat> is just take a piece of tape, and this is just to hold the paper towel in place until we get our balloon around it. Okay, if you're just joining us, please. Oh, so I should not be doing this right now. No, we haven't even put our rub our balloon on yet. Oops. <coughs> not yet. Okay. Not yet. I was just. Okay, this is getting close. So yeah, just put a little piece of tape around Which part? your uh, paper oh, towel, so can take the and we can take the pipe cleaners off. Yeah, there we go. And it doesn't have to be paper towel. I I have done this with um, you know, actually I even I make my gnomes out of foam. <laughs> my gnome shoes out of foam, and you can actually roll foam around. You know, whatever whatever you want to to work and look at this these aren't exactly the same but it's close enough it's okay okay now we're going to get our balloon and this is the oh, tricky part um hi tanya came in late so there's old um stuffing from a pillow yeah which is just that cotton stuff that's in uh, like just grab an old pillow yeah and or batting. pull that you out can buy batting, but or I batting like to, yeah yeah. But if you use an old pillow, then you can use it for something else instead of not just the landfill, I guess. And we put that into a sock. And that's, we're kind of going slow today, aren't we? We are. <laughs> okay, so once you've got that done, grab your balloon and peel it Okay, apart. is this right? Yeah. Okay, Oh, you Sorry, want to take more. off your pipe cleaners. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So we're, um, we're doing... Gnome quotes. Let me know what's a good gnome quote. <clears throat> if you know something that's funny. And we're doing fisherman quotes, too, that we're switching over to gnome quotes. Or if you just know a good gnome quote, let's hear it. I'd love to hear those. All right. Are you caught up? It's kind uh, of like a sucker. I'm a sucker. A bad day of gnoming beats a day of not gnoming. Oh, I like that. Wait. A bad day of gnoming beats a day of not gnoming. Yes! I like that. Here's the thing. Okay. Sometimes, every once in a while, I'll have a gnome that just doesn't turn out. And so, yeah, you can have a little bit of a bad day with gnoming, but it's still better than a, you know, I agree. I love that. That's awesome. Okay. Okay, what does that one say? I should have been closer to the thing. I can't read them very well. 
Okay. Okay, get your balloon and you want to pull it apart like okay. this. You don't want to cut those ends off because then the balloon will fray. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the balloon over this. Okay. Because that is now going to be the lake, the upper lake. And oh man, these balloons are going to to do that. They will. It's tricky. I was trying to find bigger balloons than this, but you know me, if I can't get it from it's the dollar right. store and you have to like get it all the way. Now, even though we're going to be poking the um, the little gadget and attaching these two, you don't have to poke a hole in this. How far? Like all the way Try down? Try to cover it all the okay. way down. And then snap around the... Snap around. Yep. Is that good? That looks good. Now do the same thing on your other one. And let's start building our gnome. We're going to get moving now. This They really don't take that long if you get moving. Okay, what did I do with my other balloon? There it is. Okay. Courtney likes your gnome. Oh, thank you, Courtney. How are you doing, Courtney? Gnome, lion, and sinker. I love it. Huh? Gnome, lion, lion, and sinker. Oh, that is perfect. It ties with uh, fishing gnome and... Fishing and gnoming. I love it. Okay, we got our two popsicles. Okay, let's start gluing those into here. Now, what we're going to do... Wait a minute. I, I'm behind. Oh, you're behind. I'm okay. All right. reading funny comments in the... Do you have any gnomes that smell, smell like, like cigarette butts? Because they... Because then they would look and smell like a couple of people I work with. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Okay, how are you coming? Uh, not. You want me to put that together for you? No, he bites it. his fingernails. <laughs> so he doesn't have the capacity. Oh, he's, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> You're in to me. <laughs> Just go. Well, okay. I'll catch up. All right. I promise. So then we're going to put our sticks in. Now remember, mine aren't even the same size, and so I can make the adjustment right now. So I'm going to cut that off. So they're the same. That's going to get across the thing. I'm going to keep these scissors for me. Okay, so now I have these. I get the big boy scissors. Big boy scissors. Now push this down into your gnome, like so. Whoops. <laughs> Okay, we're going to hold those together, and then this is the most important part. You're going to put glue down in, and you can use this glue because that one's a little smaller gun, but um, be generous with your glue. Now, you notice the sticks go all the way to the toe, which is what we want, of and then the we're going to, of the sock, and we're going to put glue all the way around until these are completely going to be secure. So, yeah, here we go. <clears throat> and then that needs to sit and dry. And we'll start working on our other part while that is drying. Okay, I think. And what's amazing is you only need the glue. I, I don't know if you can see this. You, you really don't need the glue to go all the way down in. Well, the, the beauty of this is even though the straws go all the way down here, once there's glue all around the top, it just looks like a pancake in there. Then once that glue dries, it really is solid. It will hold it in place. So go so ahead and just I'm putting it. glue around on the inside. Yeah, right? and I'm just going to store it in my little hot glue caddy right the... here. Cotton stuff. It it gives a little bit of a melt to it, but not horrible. And you do want to be generous because this is the part that's going to hold our. And you can you can bring your sticks out, but it's okay if if they're kind of like this because that's how people stand, you know, a lot. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna let that dry. Okay, let's see. I'm excited to see how Tim's gnome turns out. <laughs> <laughs> I am too. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, let's see here. Well, Courtney, they usually don't turn out as well as Amy's. Well, I'm I've just made a few that. more. This is his second gnome. What did we do? We did. We did uh, leprechauns last time. Leprechaun gnome, and then what I was did our a second? Leprechaun. Uh, Hat. No. Yeah. No beard and stuff like that. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. So go ahead and just put it right here so it can be drying. If if I'm up against like I my table that I set with the studio, I usually just lean it up against a wall or whatever. It just needs to sit there and dry. Okay, now we're gonna get out <coughs> our fancy curlers. Now I use these curlers again. I no, I, I really think we used them last time, didn't yeah, we? I never get any I don't get anything from Dollar Store for this. I'm just saying. Use the ones from Dollar Store because they're nice and cheap. And I like these because then you have the bendable arms. So you can use either because side. Because there's a they wire be bigger. that runs There's a wire. Right. So we can use the bigger ones. They're not as long or the long skinny ones. So let's go ahead and do the long skinny one. Do you want skinny or wider? Let's do wider. Let, let's try change it up. Yeah, I can do wider ones. Okay. We're both going to do wide. So we have to cut those in half, and okay, there is a wire. Says, oh, you're okay. Never mind. So there's a wire down the center. Now there's a plastic um, part on the on the end, and we're gonna need that plastic end uh, when we glue. So I forgot to get those balls over there. Um, so we're just gonna cut this in half right here. What about? I thought we had two pliers. No? I think we do. Right there's another pair. Oh. All right. Okay. Cut them in half. Cut them in half. Cut them in half. There we go. Okay. So let's ask another question. What um, what kind of gnomes would you like to see us? So once you cut the wire, you can use your scissors to cut the rest of the gnome. So we had talked. You already got it done. You're if you if you use the pliers. And you twist it, it comes off. Unless you need this to be really like Does not clean. Matter. Doesn't matter. Okay. Um, so we we talked, we asked the question earlier, what kind of gnomes do you think would be fun for somebody to make? And that's yes. how we came up with doing this fly fishing gnome. But um, the one thing that I didn't mention before is we can't, there's a lot of gnomes that we can't do on YouTube because we would go to YouTube jail. If anything is, um, what's the word, like, copyrighted so to speak you know um, like sorry pictures? go go let me hear what so, you have to say jl is asking how long we the two of us have been married okay and yeah, um, let's see let's see if you can answer that question and and mary's guessing 15 plus years 15 plus that's a good that's a good guess that's a good guess so are we telling them or are we just going to let them guess no go ahead tell them um, so we're going on 33 years. We're just young sprites. <laughs> <laughs> so, we yeah. have four sons and our oldest son, how old is he? 28. 28. Look at us. You know you're old when you don't know for sure old. And our youngest is going to be 21 in a couple of weeks. So, yep. yeah. They're a good question. Thank you. We love when you give us questions. Okay, now what color do you Ooh, want? Mardi Gras gnome. Yeah, that would be fun. Mardi Gras, yes. Oh, man, the dollar store has a lot of good stuff for Mardi Gras, too. Okay, are you doing red? Is that what color you're doing? Um, yeah. This I, is for the shirt? I thought so. Okay. Uh, oh, no, I don't want to do red. That will be Christmas. Okay, well, what color do, do you want? Do we have something else? Yeah, I have, I have all kinds of colors. We can just do white and then add um, patches and stuff. Do you want to do white or do you want to do... The other colors are over in that box. Um, oh, I'll do. the other thing is you could do this. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I got these handyman um, chamois, and I like it because it's kind of, it just seems like it could be like a sweatshirt or something like that. So there, that's an option. Okay, I'll do that. All right, you do the handyman. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what to do. Don't cut it yet. I'm gonna do mine white, I think. Okay, now, in order to make this work, you need a piece of plastic. And I and I keep a piece of scrap plastic from my sticker things. 
handy because this is the trick that I came up with that makes the seams perfect because we like no soap. You know so what you I mean? Do you need this for a reason or just to you get You need that for a reason. Hold on to it. <clears throat> I'm going to find one for me. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, here's another piece of plastic. Whoops. Has my little oh, gems. Oh, Jaretta. Her Dollar Tree is still a dollar. <gasps> Where are you that you still have a dollar? That is awesome. And Mary, actually, Amy thought about a, a mermaid gnome. Mermaid gnome is on our agenda. Yeah. I wanted to be able to show how to make the standing one that's solid. Um, so that's why we did this one. But yeah, mermaid is coming. And I already have my fabric. I got an Easter basket last year from the dollar store. And it had this, it looked like fish scales on it. And it was fabric. And I'm like, oh, that would make the perfect mermaid tail. So... Yes, mermaid is on the list. Ooh, I love it. Okay, so let me show you what we're going to do. Now, are these going to bend? Yeah. So we really only need the bendable part to be from the elbow, just above the elbow on down. So the other part, we can just we can just use fabric. I never want to waste. You know, like I want to try to be able to make an, an entire gnome for like, I don't know how no, much. I need my plastic. A good price. So you need saying. your plastic. And... We're going to make this part of it. It's going to be the length of the felt. So this much. Oh, I kind of remember this part. Yep. So get your, your yellow. <laughs> and we're going to cut them <laughs> this much. <laughs> I don't know. Do you have your fabric scissors? So Can let's see. Fabric? how. Yes, that's fabric. How tall is this? Let's see. Yeah, that's it's longer. So right. anyway, yeah, cut off some of it. Make two strips just like this. And you want it, yours is pretty thick, so it doesn't Is it about twice the length of this? Yeah. And, right. and I need it twice the length because the, it, the felt, it shows through, but that might not need it that much because Oh, thicker. I just didn't know if the rest of it was arm. Like, do I need to go? You're going to have it longer than your curler. Yeah. Yes. Oh, but it doesn't need to be super yeah. long. Like that? Let's go halfway down. Right there. Oh, that's really long. Yeah, because okay. we're going to glue it up on the top of it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let me see. What questions do we have? I know I suggested it before. I'm just keeping it fresh. Yes, I love it. Yeah, you're probably the one that gave us the idea. Yeah, she, she really likes that idea. She's going to... Yes. Okay. Uh, JW says, our children are between 42 and 28, but That's... can you read it? Cause I'm my, <laughs> it's clear up over there. Yeah. Our children are between 42 and 28, but ran out of husband. I'm not a widow. My husband just has wings. <laughs> oh, nice. I see what you're saying. Um... <laughs> Yikesers. Okay. Okay, now what we're going to do... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Am I missing something? Yeah, Mary says, I wish mine would have had wings. I'd have bought a bigger fly swatter. <laughs> <laughs> I would, too. I know, I used to always say, yeah, that could be a okay. pad over the head. No, <laughs> I'm going to get blocked. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put... We're going to oh, have a long part this, out yeah, here part. and just a little bit extra over the edge because this is going to be the sleeve right here. We're going to put on... The hand so this part comes over the edge a little bit and then we're going to roll it up roll 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 and then this is the part where the plastic comes in handy get it in a position so can i ask a question okay why why not put your other thing on the other side oh yeah yeah that's what you do okay yep <laughs> We did that before and I forgot. Yes, do that. See, I get stressed when I love. <laughs> you know what? Lives actually make me very stressed. Mm. Uh, okay, we're rolling and rolling. Now, the reason why we're not gluing it to the roller. Although you have to be very. The, have a lot of dexterity to pull that yeah. off. The roller um, will melt with hot glue. So you just want to roll it into it. And we'll glue the hand on and that will hold it into place. Okay, so this is the trick. We got our plastic down. 
we're going to run a bead of glue about a quarter of an inch inside the line. Let's see if I can get to where you can see this. So just run all the way down a nice strip of glue and then roll this up and kind of let the glue push out over the edge. And if any comes out, then you can just like let it, let the glue come out onto this plastic surface instead of it coming on to the felt. Because if the glue comes onto the felt, you'll see it. So that's why I do it that way. Yes. I can't believe you remembered that because yeah, I didn't. And then we'll cut this in half. So we have two arms done. We're gonna have to speed this along, Timothy James. All right. Okay. Now get me. What am I doing? Um, so did I just, you do the glue bead? Yep. Okay. So now you can just cut it down the middle. Do I have to let it dry first? Nope. Nope. You can cut it, and then where? Oh, they're right here. Where's the felt scissors? Oh, <laughs> you can use your fabric scissors. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I think we're missing something. A ballerina. Oh, yes. yeah. Ballerina is coming. I have, I've made a couple of shoes and it's all, I want them to be able to be laced up and yeah, I'm Ooh, working on it. A beekeeper. A butterfly. Wait, didn't you do yeah, something? Yeah, I do. With, I do oh, have a whole hive. Yeah. I did a whole hive. And we're looking over here where my um, gnomes are. I have a beehive, a bee gnome, a bumblebee gnome, and a ladybug gnome. And I did tutorials on those. Okay, so, what, cut it in half? Cut it in half. And then pick some cans. Okay. I gotta decide if I'm doing gold or silver. Um, I, we also have red over there. Do we have bigger ones? Because mine might look. Look at. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Okay. You got two of those? Yes, tablets? I do. Well, wait, is that one smaller? Yeah. There's Maybe more not. over there. You might have to look. Okay, I'm gonna do silver. And it's okay if they if they just look like they're tucked up in the hand, it's fine too. Oh yeah, you have <clears> more <throat> gold ones right there. That's what I thought. Okay, now on this part, we're gonna glue it onto that white plastic piece and then we'll kind of glue the fabric around it. So it's kind of like, a, what are they called? Lego hands, you know, how Legos all have round or like, so let me get some glue on there. Oh, clown gnome would be fun too. Oh, oh yeah, that could be. Like, oh, farmer. The farmer gnome. Bounces. I know what that we need to do too. is an Idaho potato farmer gnome. <laughs> they grew up on an, a farm. Okay. So how far down should these go? That's good. Just That's like that. Fine. Yep. So I can put a glue dot in there and... Put a glue dot in and glue it in. Okay, we're moving. We're shaking. And if there's any part of your felt that needs a little extra glue, you can glue that down too. I hope we haven't missed any comments. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sorry if we, we miss them. I know we can't address them all, but it's so much fun talking to you guys. Okay. Did I just beat you done? I think I did. I think you might have. Okay. So now we have those. <clears throat> Let's see how dry our, our uh, gnome bodies are getting. Yeah, dry. Love okay. it. Okay, so we made the shoes ahead of time because we wanted to be able to do this whole tutorial um, in an hour and a half. And so the shoes have already been made, their boots. And again, you can see the tutorial on Monday for these. Now, do you want to do waders or do you want one of the other type of shoes? Because you can pick whatever you want. Um, let's do, well, yeah, I'll do waders if you don't okay. mind. Yeah. Okay. So you get, and we're not going to actually hook them in yet, okay. but just knowing what your shoes are, it may change how you do everything do else. Everything else. Okay. So let me give you two of these little attachments. Okay, and this is what's crazy is when you see that this, you know, there's no hole there, but it will just poke right in. 
no problem. If you if you cut a hole, then it might tear the balloon up. So that's why we're just going to poke that in there. And then I think I'm going to be doing my yellow waders. So do that. But we're not we're not doing it yet. And I, I'm going to have to okay. add some more. Okay. To this, because this part's going to get cut down. Anyway, we'll get to that part in a minute. Okay. So let's dress this baby. The first thing we're going to need is we need a nose. Now you can use a couple of different things for the nose. Well, you can do a lot of different things. Um, I personally like the ping pong balls because they're nice and hard, but you can't always get these. Um, the other, they're not ping pong balls. They're golf balls. Golf balls. Plastic golf balls. Oops, I did Smaller that. than. Yeah, the average. ping pong balls okay. work too. They're just a little bit bigger, but sometimes <clears throat> they will dent in, which you can take a hairdryer <clears throat> to and it'll pop them back out. So we're going to do a nose here for you and a nose for me. You can get these out of the way so they're right. not in your way. And <clears throat> you can get a pair of pantyhose and one pair lasts for a long time. You can do brown or <laughs> white. Okay. Oh, yeah. So cut off a piece. Here, I'll go ahead and cut it for you. So you can't complain about Those my scissors. Those are the pantyhose scissors? Those are the Pantyhose scissors and they kind of stick to my hand. Okay, now we're not going to waste time trying to, you know, like find this inside. We want the pantyhose to be two layers anyway. So we just take it, take a pipe cleaner, and we're going to wrap it around. Wait, See? wait, wait. Okay. Yeah. So you don't put it in the. Pipe. Not in. Okay. You want two layers of it anyway. So you're just going to wrap it around like that. And then take your pipe cleaner. Kind of vaguely remember this from yeah, our... and just wrap your pipe cleaner <clears> around <throat> so it's nice and solid. Yeah, that's not like that, and then it. cut that off. Which you can use one of these non-sharp pair of scissors to cut a pipe cleaner. Okay, you got that. What am I missing here? Um, oh, oh, I forgot to do some quotes. Okay, some more fishing quotes. If people concentrated on the essential things, that, okay, this one's a good one. I want you to think this one through. If people concentrated on the essential things in life, there would be a shortage of fishing poles. Doug Larson. Do you get it? Did you get right? it? Yes. Yeah. Did you pipe clean it? Not yet. Oh, here. Yeah. Okay. If people concentrated on the essential things in life, there would be a shortage of fishing poles. Should it be covered more or is it that's okay fine. that it's that yeah, that's fine. transparent? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Did you still not hear what I said? I'm busy. <laughs> if people concentrated on the essential things in life, well. there would be a shortage of fishing poles. Do you get it? Yes. Because? Because they're not fishing. Which then would be the essential. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> I, I'm going <gonna, laughs> to put gnome in there. If people concentrated yeah. on the important things of life, they would be there would be no gnome supplies. Mm. Mm. Okay, what have we missed? <clears throat> um, I think that's it. Okay, I think I got it. Okay, now we're going to figure out what you want to use for. Do I have your... to cut this off, or does yeah, matter? cut it off? Don't, not with those scissors. <laughs> No, you can use these scissors. I know, but this that won't cut very well. Yeah, well, it won't. It won't. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> okay, now your shirt, your main body of your shirt. We can add a vest. We can add patches or whatever. So the main body could be this, or if you want it to be this same fabric, you want to wrap that around your gnome okay. now. No, I think I'll leave it. No, I think you want it because you have nothing down here. Oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> so get your, see, mine that comes down. It's a mini skirt. It's a mini skirt. No, put, okay, not your arms. Yeah, get your but more fabric. Take that's that like fabric. That. And mm -hmm. Yeah, so add some fabric. And you're just going to wrap it around. And you can even make it so that it's V'd right here. So it looks like it's got a white t shirt underneath. Although your nose is here. Wait, do I? But I don't have to cover this. Can I just cover the bottom here? And, and you want it to look like it's wearing a skirt? Oh, yeah. Just cover it. The whole thing. This is pretty thick, though. It's all right. Just cover it and glue it around. 
see. No, no, no. Here, let me see. <laughs> I, I'm not describing very good. So just do like, all right, we're going to go. Here, you be answering questions. I'm going to help you with this. Oh, no, they're having fun. Okay. Let's see. A, uh, a birthday or wedding anniversary gnome. That would be good. Ooh, like a, Oh, yeah. Like a couple that's a cake topper gnome. Yeah, okay. I um, like that. <laughs> Speaking of shirts, how can I get a shirt like Tim's? Hey, thanks. Yeah, this is my business. Um, I can actually probably send you one, Sarah. Let's see. Nobody will be home alone. Oh, that would be good. So all I'm doing while he's reading is I'm just adding a shirt around like this. I, really, it's not a shirt, but I'm just adding this fabric around like so. So you're making a skirt. Well... Is that what it looks like it is? It's just a it's just an untucked shirt. How about? That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, why I married you. All right. Keep answering the questions, Willie. <laughs> oh no, now I'm starting to feel like what if this doesn't work? <laughs> well then you can blame it on me because that's my gnome, right? <laughs> okay. All right. We're good. Okay. <sighs> Wait, should this be attached to the sock though? It is. Okay, uh, let's okay. let's let's get our nose glued on and let's get our arms glued on and then we will figure out more. Ooh. I think I want some color. I think you're right though. I could do a V-neck down the front. Yeah. I'm going to add like a gingham, I think. Okay. <laughs> I can get you some glitter. Nope. Oh. Okay. What'd you do? It came apart? No. Oh. Uh, it's still glued on there. I'm just trying to figure out how well, I can. Well, the V neck. You're going to have your beard and everything, oh, yeah, yeah. so it won't okay. really show up. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this is this is another fly fishing quote. The voices in my head are telling me to go fishing again. If I don't go, they won't stop. That's what the voices in my head tell me to know every day. I, I can't stop. It's kind of crazy. I forget what I... So I threw you off. Okay. I threw you threw me off. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this with patches. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Nose. 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 Okay. So what we're gonna do with our nose? We're gonna glue it to the top of the head. Oh yeah. So it's just Is this it? pantyhose part. So we're gonna just add a dollop of glue on top. Not too much. It doesn't take a lot. It's a very lightweight no nose. And then we just put that right on there, like that. I think this is where I burned myself last time. Don't night. burn yourself. And then we're going to take Did you guys know arms. the hot glue is hot? <laughs> Joel knows. Okay. And then we're going to glue these arms. And you want your arms to go well below your waistline. Because once they bend, that was the thing that I did wrong when I first started, was I made the arms too short. So definitely glue your arms on. And they glow, basically glue upper shoulder almost on top of your head, right? Almost on top of your head. Yours is longer than mine. Mine aren't quite long enough, so I have to glue mine down a little bit. Okay. But yeah, go ahead and glue those on. I think it's easier if he, if I have, it, have him standing up facing me, and then I yeah. can make it more symmetrical because that's I'm OCD that way. Okay, so we've got a um, question out. What type of gnomes would you like to see? We have cowboy, mermaid. What else zombie, do we clown. Zombie. Clown. A zombie one would be funny. What kind of clown would we do? Like a... Like an it clown or a oh. funny clown? Oh. The, how about the one from Modern Family? Cam clown. Oh, a cam clown? Cam clown. That'd be funny. 
Now you're going to get us banned for oh. saying modern family. Uh-oh, maybe. We're still learning what you can say and what you can't. Okay, so let those arms dry. And oh, gnomes for summer. Didn't you do a oh, yeah. summer gnome? So I did. Or I've done a lot of summer gnomes. Gnome? I've done a oh, spring that one that's April, sh April shower, spring May flowers, and I'm looking at all my gnomes. Oh, we did a barbecue. Um, oh, yeah. Barbecue gnome. You, where you even made a, bar a grill and little food. Yeah, food. Yeah, that's true. Okay, okay. now let's start. Let's Is that start. all right? That looks good. So just set that aside. We're going to let that dry, <clears> and let's start working on the hat. So what you what color? Did you say you wanted to do gray? Gray hat? Sure. Yeah. Okay. So you gotta take scissors and cut off those little things. Otherwise it'll um tear the tear up that the gloves. Yeah. And I actually I'm just looking at mine and now I wish I had the black hat. So can you hand me those snuggaroo socks over there? These? Yeah. I know I said I wasn't gonna do black, but I've got my black and yellow galoshes. So, I think so that, use the scissors to cut that tag off because otherwise it'll ruin your... I know, but not <laughs> those scissors. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Oops. Cutting that off. All right. What other questions do we have? Christy, you can get them through eBay. Oh, what did Christy ask? We missed something. Can you see? Uh, it's up the chat line. Uh oh, Christy, you might have to ask your question again. We missed it. We were having so Christy too much got bandering. the answer. Oh, she got the answer? Okay. All right. So you can get different things. You can get the socks, the squishy socks from the dollar store, or gloves. So if you're going to use the gloves, um, this is another thing. This is another way that you can actually do the hands. If you don't want to do these balls, you can make it look like mittens. You don't want to cut off the thumb, but you take uh, this part right here, the tip of the fingers right here and here, and whoop, just like that. And you can actually and add those. You only those. need one, right? No, you need one for each hand. Oh, one glove, yeah. And then you can just glue those around, and then it looks like a little mitten. Ah. See how cute that is? Wait, so can I use it, that you still have use this yeah, yeah, yeah. for my hat? Yeah, okay. because what you're going to do when you're using a glove rather than a sock for the top, which is what I did here, you're going to put together the fingers and see all those little tips would make great gloves. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut those off boom, because they're just going to get folded up anyway. So you're going to fold those up together like this. Put a little uh, pipe cleaner around it and glue the top together. Flatten it and glue the top because that's where the pom pom is going to go. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep. And for mine. But it just, it doesn't matter if the, as long as they're all gathered together. Oh, right? wait, sorry. You got to get the thumb. But the thumb, you can't cut the tip off because in order for it to be the same height, it needs to come up. Yep. Gather that together. And you try to do it as high up as you can so that you have room to put your gnome through that part. Yeah. Very good. Okay, questions. Um, Amy read my comment about the ballerina gnome later. Oh, read, so go back and read her comment about the ballerina gnome, which oh, addresses J Christie's question. Christie's question. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So, wait, go, going back to this. Okay. I gather it first. Yeah. Tie it. But let me show even you something. It out. You want to try, like, your thumb... <clears throat> that shows how tall it's all going to be. So you want to put the pipe cleaner right on the tip of the thumb because you want to have as much of this as possible. Okay. So just put it right there and cut it flat and then put a bunch of glue on the top so it can start to dry. Okay. Yeah. See, this is why doing lives is good because sometimes I just do it and I get used to what I'm doing and I don't describe it very well. Now, for mine, I'm going to go ahead and glue this shirt down so that it is down below so is it, it okay looks, like looks like that? the waist is up in. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's fine because we're going to stuff it. Okay. So I'm going to put a little glue on here and hope that balloon doesn't get too mad about that. 
And it's okay that it's just white because I'm going to be adding embellishments. So, and in fact, why don't I go ahead and, while you're doing that, I'll do the same on yours. I'm going to glue that down. So it looks like it's tucked in. And you can be checking on comments. <laughs> so I'm just gluing that shirt down. And then I'll gather it so it looks like it's a tucked in shirt. We can actually add a belt to it too so that it looks more tucked in. Okay, you guys will have to review the live chat afterwards to collect all the great ideas we are giving you. No, oh, no doubt. I'm missing them. You guys are like brainstorming, right? I all over. I love it. Sometimes you might have to repeat, but we we, we do go back and, yeah. and read them all. Ooh, okay. So, right? Yep, that's right. Now, just take your glue and glue over the glue top it of it. Together. Be careful because sometimes it tries to drip down and the hot glue's hot. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got that started for you, and then you can take, remember how we had this elastic that we kept? That makes a good belt. Oop, hot glue. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I... <laughs> uh, this is just something. This might be our last line. <laughs> no way. Um, fun. <laughs> We just probably should. I like. I really like the idea earlier about doing a Q and A and and then doing the demo later because um, we we tend to have too much fun with these lives we and get, it takes we get forever. Sidetracked. Yeah. Okay. Well, you can. We, we can keep okay. working on that. We're gonna let that dry. <laughs> okay. Oops! I'm kicking cords everywhere. Oh, so do we have a palm? So. I was going to say, can't I glue it on right now or no? You can. So I I have a <clears throat> tutorial all about how to make your very own palms. You don't have to spend a lot of money. I actually was going around. Yeah, go ahead and glue that on there. You I was it's going around. still hot enough? Yeah, it's hot enough. All over trying to find pom-poms. And I didn't want to spend a lot of money. And then I wanted them just the right color or just the right size. And I was like, no, I got to do this. So um, I got my yarn from Dollar Tree. Sometimes I get it from Walmart. And um, oh, this is a mess. And then you can, like, the tutorial, it shows how to make, like, the most beautiful. So that's another thing that I do. I make my palms in advance and I make my shoes in advance. And I have all different colors and styles. Ooh, I kind of like red and yellow. Maybe my... Maybe my gnome's going to have red and yellow. So I might set that out. So yeah, you can even make little tiny ones. So easy and fun. So yes, good question. Okay, what am I doing with that? You're letting Nothing that dry. just dry? <laughs> yeah, okay. let's let that dry for just a minute. Okay, we're going to start speeding up along. Let's see, how are we doing? Oh, we have, we have 15 minutes. Let's go fast. Okay, what questions did I miss? Nothing. The strong man Again. from the circus would be. Ooh, a snowboarding one. gnome. Yeah, I like that oh, one. Oh, yeah, snowboard. Soon. And someone had said hockey. So I think about hockey players. Could, but the strong man from the <laughs> circus, that would be so funny. Deputy uh, JWB um, apparently made some Taco Bell idea. So that we're definitely going to go back and look at. As oh, well. what'd you say? Come on, JW Deputy. Tell us again. We don't want to okay. miss it. What do I do with this? Can I take this off now or no? Um, I'd wait for that to dry a little okay. bit longer. Okay. Let's let's start putting this together so yep. that it can be embellished. Okay. So. Embellished? Well, you know, like fishing. Okay. Uh, oh, do you want? Let's yep, go ahead and yep. make that right now. No, so that's underneath good. here, I've got, this is so funny. I picked this up. Yes. I think I got this. It wasn't the dollar store because it says $3.99. I must have got it at Walmart, but I bet you I paid a dollar because I got it after it has a little feather boa. So go ahead and start making a fly out of that to go on the hat because that's a good embellishment for a fly. Oh, yeah, just pull it off. That'll work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so there we have it. Okay. There we have it. Okay, I wanted to show some of my shoes that are going to be in the, the next tutorial. Now, these shoes, um, 
this is this has got to be one of the easiest ways. I I've made maybe six. I don't know how many. Sixty thousand shoes. Sixty yeah. shoes probably oh. for notes. Maybe more because I have twenty just this week. But this is what's so great about it. So these are the ones that I made for. Oh, these are heavy too. I started off with them kind of light, and that's why that that would be tippy. But these are heavy. So the gnome can get put in them and they won't tip over and you can do all different kinds like I did, you know, all different colors and styles. And these are the ones that are made with Easter eggs. All of these are actually made with Easter eggs. My other ones were made with cups. Um, so while that's cool. Eh? So real quickly, yeah, I was looking in your box of. Goodies. Goodies. And I found this stuff. Mm. What is it? So that's some wire so we can make our fishing pole. Now, for the fishing pole, I'm going to use one of these It's just skinnier. regular, like, where do you, do you remember it's where you got it? floral wire. Floral wire. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm, I'm using it to make my fly, too. Yeah, yeah. And then this can be made with our fishing <clears throat> pole if we run out of time, which we are. Um, you can add, like, some of the floral wire. But I was actually thinking of taking a paper clip. And cutting the ends off, and then I'm gonna uh, paint. Use a marker to turn this into a fishing pole. You like jing 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 jing, and add some things and some fishing line. It's I am not being very <laughs> descriptive. <laughs> so fishing line, and I'm gonna make a big circle thing right here, which actually this would make a good circle, like for my fly roll. I, I would need something like this that's a little bit smaller. But anyway, fly fishing. That's what kind. Um, my brother Jeremy does fly fishing. Does anybody else do any fly fishing? So do a tutorial on how to make the shoes. Oh, Mary, she's got. Yeah. Yeah, she's so got you covered these, on that one. These um, shoe tutorial for these shoes will go live on Monday at noon. Because the tutorial's already done. And so for yeah. the most recent for the version. most recent version. So <clears throat> I have a I have a, two other shoe tutorials, but this is for the Easter egg shoes, which are these. And they they can be, you know, it's the same thing that we did for these galoshes for the waiters and the tennis shoes, everything. It's all made with the same type of formatting. You can make them. Glittery, whatever. I so, love yeah. the galoshes one. The, the those galoshes. Are awesome. Yeah, that's what Those I'm yellow doing. and black ones are the best. That's the one where you, I'm using. Okay. So can I take yeah, this take off? Yeah, take that off. And so, yeah, we are, we're running low on time. So we got to get these put together. All right. Now. Am I stuffing this? Yeah, stuff it up. Do you need stuffing? Yeah. So what I do usually. Can I hit you on the head with the pillow like you did me? Nope, because we're not using the pillow. This is when I change it up. Oh. I like using these paper towels because they're really lightweight. And up in the Wait, hat. Could you use a giant wooden button for the fishing reel? That's a great idea. A wooden button? Yeah. And then you turn it sideways and it's the fishing reel. Oh, that's fantastic. I think yes. I have a button in my things here. I love that. I was actually thinking that for the... The real part, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but um, even like a thread um, spool spool might be too big though. I'm Depends on what for fly fishing, yes. For fly fishing, but you could do a casting reel that way. Casting It'd be really cool. Reel. Okay, okay, so what are we doing? All right. So the reason why I like using paper towels is they're so lightweight and they kind of <clears> hold <throat> their form and they don't take up as much weight as even the the cotton would. So we're just going to put it in very light fold it because again we want it to not be heavy on top so this is one way that we can form around our sock but okay. not yeah make sure it's not too heavy yeah. so we're going to put that in our sock or glove in my case glove in your case and with my my sock rather than the glove i can just put some in and then just um, take the sock itself and put a rubber band around it and then that is in place of the pom-pom. 
and then it's exactly matching. So I'm gonna actually use a pipe cleaner, put that around and make a little palm on the end. Okay, let's put this together. What are we missing? Oh, we're good. Oops, okay. All right. You got that? Okay, put some more stuffing in there. Now, oh, let's do the beard first. <laughs> oh, this is why I don't usually do lives. My brain shuts off and whatever, but we're going to do it. Okay, but just so, so everybody can see. Oh, that so is a I cool pulled that, fly. I pulled the feather off of her boa and formed myself a little hook. So now, if we run out of time, we will finish these and we'll put the picture of the finished product on our thumbnail so you can check or back with people our... people can just... Yeah. They can just watch if they get tired. And... Okay. Anyway. All right. One thing about Beard. it, you got a lot of glue I right know. there. I <laughs> know. I was so disappointed. Well, we can wrap it with and then ribbon was... or something. That's all right. It okay. actually... Ooh, if I go... Uh... No okay. okay, go ahead and start putting the beard. And I like putting the beard on now. And basically you want it tucked up here like where the ears would be and go up underneath your mm -hmm. nose and just go ahead and put your beard on. What am I using? Your fur, I think we put over there. Oh, yeah. going back to the fur. So you can do fur. I've done a lot of different things for beards. You can do fur or you can do mops. I like the fur. You know, like the mops that you get from the dollar store. See, we went really bright again. This or the gray mop. No, we're good. It's or going it bright on the screen, but on our. Okay. Um, on mine, it's can not going to be a beard. I don't think it'll cut with that. Okay. Use these. Those, and okay. you cut it backwards, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. Now they have this mesh tubing, which I love for crazy hair. And so I, I wonder if I'm, what color am I going to do? I guess I'll do white. I have green. You can get these in different colors. I have purple. Anyway, what's fun about this tubing is you can actually use it for beards too, but I'm going to use it for my... Okay, what are we missing here? Gnomes? Tim, are you addicted to gnomes now too? <laughs> well... <laughs> he loves I, it. Can I plead the fifth? I'm addicted <laughs> to goofing around with my wife oh, on, boy. on these... No, I like them. It's actually pretty, um, it's, well, you guys already know this because you're gnomers, but um, it is very uh, creative. And I'm a creative guy, so I like anything creative. Good uh, I didn't, thanks. <laughs> I didn't uh, cut that very straight, but I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, doesn't so matter. it goes under the. Under there. Ooh, I didn't on. cut enough, did I? It's fine. It doesn't have to go. Glue it up there. Glue it up there. Okay. You'll be good. Okay, for the hair, I'm just kind of winding things around like this. And then I'll cut this off. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, I keep what laughing. I, I laugh when I'm nervous. Okay. And I'm just going to oh, put this around. Hands fell off. What are you what? One of my hands fell off. I hate when my hands fall off. I don't know how off. that did that, but it did. Well. Yep, that glue's hot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tim, you did. <laughs> let's see what it says. It's a, you didn't cut through the fur right. I know. I didn't. I thought oh. I was, but then I, I uh, was in a hurry, and I just cut the rest of it off. It wasn't good. That was for sure. Oh, man. He lost his whole arm. <laughs> this could possibly be our last life. No. We're kind of having a disaster. <laughs> Is this not what really happens when you craft, though? Yeah, I suppose. But then I can edit it out when it goes <laughs> south for the winter. <laughs> okay, so I'm not describing anything that I'm doing except that I just put together some of this tubing. And this is going to be the crazy hair. That's not going to work very well, but it's going to have to do. And I did a, I did a 
uh, witch gnome and I used purple hair like this. And I had so many people like they would just see the picture on Pinterest or something and they're like, what did you use for your hair? And I'm like, well, see how fast and easy that is. And then I'll just glue that on like this. And that can be my fun hair. All right, there's questions coming up, Tim. Is there? Okay. Um... <laughs> Mary says, I'll pay you to keep doing lives. <laughs> When she says she's not going to do them, she will. She's just... I just get nervous. Yeah. Oh. I have a bit of a panic attack before it starts. So I'm like, oh. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, so... I'm going to ask another fish, fish quote question. Okay, here's another fish quote that we need to have help turning into a gnome quote. Red... No, wait. One fish, two fish. I fish, you fish. No. That really wasn't funny or anything. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I can't people today. I'm going fishing. Now that one works for gnomes. I can't people today. I'm I'm going gnoming. I'm going crafting. Something yeah, that that'll work. <laughs> okay. If I'm not fishing, I'm thinking about it. I think I said that one already, but that is definitely me. I night and day, I just like wake up in the middle of the night and I'm thinking about the next gnome, the next embellishment, the next person who needs a gnome. I, it's funny how that comes. I, I'll just be like, you know, so-and-so down the street, they look so sad. And what can I say? I don't really know them that well, but. You don't know them that well? I don't well. know them that well, but I can make a gnome and I can take it to them. And I think that's what I love about this the most is it's just a way that's like non-confrontational, non confrontational non anything, but you can kind of brighten somebody's day. Yeah. Oh, by the way, whenever you're doing the gloves, there's these little tags on the back side of them. Just so you know, don't pull that off. Don't pull it off. Oh, I know. It'll fray the gnome. I'm speaking for a friend. <laughs> so you just glue that in. So my original thought was that I was going to leave this because you know how a lot of stocking caps, they have a patch right there mm. these days. And that looks like that patch. Yeah. But then I realized when I put it on my gnome, um, well, actually, I guess it could work. Well, because that whole patch has got to come around the nose. Yeah. You're so gonna have to glue that I'm going to have to not do it that way. But if I would have planned and maybe stuffed it better, yeah. I could have done that. So okay, one thing I folded that I it back suggest... so I could glue it, and then I'll pull it down. No, that over sounds good. Everything. But what I would do if I were you, because we didn't do very good back here. Put some more fur so it looks like there's hair back there to cover that spot. Oh, crap. No, These I aren't the best cut fur better. <laughs> Do you want me to cut it for you? You ask questions and I'll cut the fur. Or you answer questions. Okay. But you got to get caught up. So I'll just cut some really quick. I'm caught up. But this has to dry. Here, you ask some of those. All right. Give me. I got, I've got, I've got good scissors. <laughs> fur. <laughs> Everywhere. Okay, ask, answer their questions. <laughs> um, See, I'm better off just sitting in the corner of the room and doing my thing. Oh, um, I like the last one because we have some folks from the South. Just a Southern girl, good in the kitchen, better at fishing. There we go. Okay, should we tell the... I'm trying to think of how we could turn that turn into that a into, gnome thing. Okay, I, I have a southern girl fishing story for you. So when we lived in Georgia, my mom came to visit, and she is a major, like, she is, she has passed, but she was a major fisher, fisher person. woman, fisher yeah. person. And um, so she came to Georgia, and she had never fished in Georgia, but Sorry, she was so like. so just do it on top like this? Yeah. Any old wear that you can just glue it down at this point. So she came to Georgia and she's like, I got to take your kids fishing. We had just had our third child. And um, my oldest was, I don't know, five, five, almost three, five, I guess. Yeah. And then a newborn. So she's like, she went to Walmart and she just got like cheap little fishing rods. She just wanted to teach them how to cast and how to, how to do that. And she didn't, Think that they would actually catch anything and then um we went to this lake to go fishing and we were gonna fish for catfish 
And we had, none of us had ever fished for catfish before. So anyway, she's got these little poles. We get to this place and there's a dock out on there. So we try to walk out on the dock and there's a whole bunch of fishermen out there. And they said, oh, no, this is for professional fishing only. You can only fish on the side. No, no kids on the dock. So we're like, oh, okay. You know, so we go clear around the lake and we find this pot part where the water is actually really shallow for a long ways out. But again, all we were going to do was practice casting. So we're like, this will be fine. No one's even in this area because why would you be? The water was great. At this point, I think you and I had gone to the car that was parked right there to well, get no, food out or something. We were and your just mom was getting with... there. Yeah, we were just getting there. So she had the boys were so excited to go fishing. So she's she took the two boys down and started teaching them how to cast. And we were getting coolers out of the car yeah. to bring because we had brought a little uh, picnic. And we had brought lawn chairs and everything. So we're literally trying to get all this stuff and a newborn baby out of the cart. And all of a sudden, my mom's just like yelling at us, bring the camera, bring the camera. And we're like, we're, we're hurrying. Like, we're, and she's like, no, bring the camera now, bring it now. And we're like, okay, we have these old, the old video camera. So we go running over there and set the one that I got for, it wasn't even three years old. He's just screaming at the top of his lungs and reeling as hard as he can. He no sooner cast his little tiny fishing pole in. I think it was a Spider-Man. Wasn't it a Spider-Man fishing Scooby -Doo. pole? It was Scooby-Doo. Or Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo. He no sooner cast it in and he got a bite. <laughs> he reels it in. And my mom's teaching him how to reel. And it was, it was a, that catfish was half the size of him. I know that there's a joke about it like, Oh, the more I tell this story, the bigger the fish gets. But and I even forget sometimes till we look at the picture, and he's holding this picture <laughs> with this fish, and it's huge, and everyone in the whole lake could hear him screaming, and they watched him reeling that big fish. <laughs> and then Jaron, our older son, he ended up catching one too, like right off the bat. And pretty soon those professional fishermen are coming over saying, What what bait were you using? <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, that's my story. Okay, what what I missed? Sorry. Okay. I don't know why I go um, off on tangents. We love fishing. That's all I'm saying. My grand, both my grandfathers really fished a lot. Okay. So, laughing beats back panic attacks. That's for sure. Yes, it Gnome, does. Gnoming instead of no uh, gone fishing. So. Someone makes a makes gnomes. Oh, no one makes gnomes as cute as you, Amy. I love them so much. Oh, that was from Kristen. Oh, uh, thank I you. I agree, Kristen says Christy and gnome Vader. That would be a fun one, Troy. I, I know. I don't <laughs> think we can get away with that one because, um, we tried to copyright do stuff. Yeah, copyright. I think the copyright, like, we could make it, but we couldn't post a tutorial or. Have it be on. A bartender in his shirt will say, no more for you. <laughs> that would be good. <laughs> That's um, awesome. Oh, give me a gnome where the buffalo run. Oh, yes. Yes. Love a it. A munchkin from nowhere over the rainbow. Oh, <laughs> that was good. Good. Oh, these are clever. Gnome for I thought we missed a bunch of good ones. Gnoming no more. And I love that fishing story. So. Oh, it's starting to look good. <laughs> okay, so now I do I glue like his hat on? Glue his hat on. Glue that hat on. Yeah. Okay, we're we're past our time. We're past our prime. I hope you guys are okay sticking with us for a little while. We're going to try to finish these up. We okay. promise. I got my arms. Okay. So then you put your uh, hat on. And you want the nose to be halfway covered with your hat and it's good to glue all the way around them so that <clears throat> if someone's you know like if someone's playing with the gnome or whatever it it will hold its it will hold its position i guess so i'm not going to put the glue on right now because i'm trying to hurry so then the other thing is i have my galoshes here i'm going to do my yellow ones and then I can add some embellishments on here, on here, like add some patches on the leg and on the elbows or whatever. And I'll probably do some, I think I like the red. I'll put some red patches on 
to help make her pop a little bit. And then as far as the gnome shoes, I make them in advance and I have the sticks coming out because I'm not sure how tall I'm gonna want. But in this case, I'm gonna want these to be as short as possible so that my waders can get down into the shoe. So yeah, I might have to use some of my good scissors. Don't watch. <laughs> Cause I can't get that cut down in there. Oh boy. Okay, what other? Okay, wait, where are you at? I'm getting so, my shoes ready. What do I do? Poke these through or no? Let's oh, see, no. let me see, where are you at? Oh my word, that's pretty funny. <laughs> Okay, I like it. So yeah. do I do I poke these through? Or I no? think that you might want to add. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. wait. Where's your shoes? Right here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Poke that through. Doesn't matter which end. Doesn't matter. They're both the same. So we're gonna poke this in, and then put this in. It's two different colors of yellow, a little bit, but that's okay. And then where's my other little attachment? I have to get one out of here. Okay, any other questions or comments we have here? Okay. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, if I'm being honest and I made these for a tutorial, they would never... <laughs> Make it on YouTube. <laughs> They're not that great. But should I glue them in or does it matter? They should be able to just go in okay. and look at you can just bend this. I think I just may have made mine a little too. We gotta we gotta short, fix the waist but area, but okay. anyway, yeah. you get what Looks I'm like saying he's here. Wearing one of those 80s <laughs> girl sweaters that go <laughs> just around the <laughs> butt. Okay. I'm gonna this <laughs> okay. What other comments do we have? How about just set that uh, aside? <laughs> come on. Wait, wait. I'll set him aside, but okay. I gotta add my. Oh, you add your fly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, in, I like to make the girl gnomes like kind of jazz them up. And there's some like scatter. Uh, Hi, Lois. Scatter. Welcome. I know you're. Uh, you said you are you came in late, but we're glad to see you. Welcome. Now, somebody had suggested that for the fly fishing rod, or for the fishing rod, you could use a button. And remember I said I had a button. How would you consider, how would I do that? Do you know what they're saying? Yes. This, if you turn it sideways, looks like <gasps> a reel. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So, see, I have a button that will work for my reel. And we'll get those finished up. Um, oh, and I was going to say, so I like to get scatter. They call it table scatter at the Dollar Tree. And sometimes they have florals or sometimes there's like, um, oh, came off. I don't know, like little lips or hearts or just gems, some gems. And since this is fishing, I think I'm going to use some sort of flower. And it's sometimes it's nice to add a little something to the hat. So I'm going to go with this little and I need the okay cooler. okay just anyway to... I'm gonna glue my boots on but anyway there's my guy okay look for any questions anybody has all right <clears throat> holy fur <laughs> so we're about to wrap it up so just make sure okay. we got everything <clears throat> Lois says they are adorable thank you Thank you. A wizard gnome would be would be fun. Oh yeah, I like that idea. Uh, thanks so much, Lois. Thanks, Lois. Um, let's see, wizard gnome. Yep, yep, yep. Hannah thought it was funny. I'm not sure what I did, but I'm sure <laughs> I'm sure it was hilarious. I'm a little scared um, to watch it back. Oh, Wizard Gnome is so cute. Yep, they are adorable. Love it. Do you list an address where people can send you happy mail? Oh, 
We oh, just have a email never thought of that. address. What we what we did start, which I haven't even like, I'm just new to this, but we did start a Facebook group because I thought it would be fun for people to be able to send pictures that they've made, and you can't and do pictures. That was a, a suggestion by someone watching our live yeah. last time. Yeah, so we did start that, but I mean, literally, we just did it. So I think we have three people on there so far. But if you want to find our Facebook, what do we call it? Uh, is it just I don't DIY know. <laughs> is my happy place? Yeah, probably. Well, I don't know. We'll put it in the description. But anyway, that's uh, what I'm talking about. Little, how uh, it just helps to have a little. Seeing her stands up right away. <laughs> well, I don't have the arms bent yet, and I don't have. Um, a little sign. I always like to do some sort of a sign. Lois said she just made a Mr. and Mrs. Valentine gnome. Oh, Valentine's. Awesome. I, I think Valentine <clears throat> gnomes have to be my favorite all time because I think that a lot of people can be pretty sad around Valentine's Day. So I just think there's nothing like an gnome to perk people up. And it's therapy for me to make them. So do you I, sell the gnomes? That, I would totally buy Tim's. Oh my <laughs> word. No. no. We don't it, sell. It, I would have to refund you immediately. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> that was Kristen. Oh, Kristen, you're the best. Uh, <laughs> oh, let's see. Can't send. Oh, can't send items unless you have a P.O. box. We need to get a P.O. box. We'll yeah, do that we one should. time. We would love happy mail. Because <laughs> sometimes things work good and sometimes they're not as good. So... Yes, thank you so much. Well, we've committed to this, so we'll be back on in two weeks, um, two weeks from today. And hopefully, <laughs> we're not quite so. Uh, uh, Mary's starting the bid on my gnome at $6. <laughs> I want to pay $6. <laughs> oh, mercy. Okay. Oh, well, we... <laughs> Okay, I don't know what's wrong with me. Anyway, thank you all. Thank you so much. We really Thanks, do Lois. appreciate everybody coming and joining with us and doing our lives with us. Yeah, it's been fun. Very fun. So we'll see you guys later. And look for Amy's uh, post on shoes on Monday. Monday at noon. That's going to be our yeah. time. So, so, yeah. Very good. Thank you so much. That's when you push Bye. the stop. Yeah. <laughs> You think? <laughs> okay. uh, I'm glad you don't hear my screams. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word.